Hey you guys, what's up? Good morning. I am back vlogging for you guys. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your response on my last video and I really took everything to heart and I agree with you guys. It's just time to take action and I don't know if any of you guys follow me on Instagram but I made one little start to donating to the NAACP just like I said from the last three videos, all of my proceeds from the last three videos, and then I doubled that amount. So I actually donated $3,000 to the NAACP. And if you guys don't know who they are, I'll have a link down below as well as to where you can donate. Oh my goodness, it's already getting humid out here. It might get foggy again. Wow, it's like loud out here. <laughs> but their mission is basically to kind of just diminish and eliminate any sort of race-based discrimination, which I think is awesome. So in the workplace, in the community, just anything like that. I actually am doing some research here now on um, the UGA NAACP because they have an organization at my school. It's the university I go to and they have so many resources on their Instagram. So I'm kind of looking more into that because I really want to pick like a specific organization or a couple and just really delve deep into those and like actually make a positive impact because that's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm so thankful that I get a platform like this to share this stuff with you guys and I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I just want to say thank you guys so much and I love you and just Thanks for allowing me to learn and grow. But yeah, it's Monday morning. I think I'm gonna do a little week in my life or a couple days in my life. I'm not really sure. It's just gonna kinda, we're just gonna see. This week is busy with online school. So I've been taking online summer classes. I'm taking marketing and then I'm also doing a directed study. I was supposed to go to New York for a May semester for my major in May. Um, but that obviously got canceled for a very good reason. So instead I get to write a 20 page paper. Oh my God. Gosh, nature's out to play right now. They've quieted down. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the sounds of nature. Allow it to be zen for you. Um, so I today I actually have my last exam in marketing. So I've been studying for that all weekend, so I'm gonna take that today. I just have to take it before 2 p.m. And then I also wanna work on my paper. I have like 10 pages done. I think it can be from 15 to 20 pages, and it's actually on how COVID-19 affected fashion businesses. Um, and I've interviewed some people that work at companies that have like truly gotten affected, and just like from you know small companies to bigger companies, and it's honestly just been so interesting, and it, it's heartbreaking, really. Like so many people's jobs have changed, and it's just wild times. But um, yeah, so today's very much of a school day, and I'm at my dad's house right now because he's working from home. And um, I just thought I'd come over and like be here. It's like nice and quiet and just kind of, you know, I made, we made some breakfast this morning and my brother's here as well, just on the couch watching TV. But I just came out here because um, I didn't want to like interrupt my dad. Came up to my room because I'm gonna take my exam. I thought I'd show you guys my little work from home outfit. Um, I've been wearing this a lot, just like some sort of just chill crop top and then sweatpants or leggings or something of the sort. I'm just wearing this black ribbed crop top, this little necklace to give it something, you know? <laughs> and then these, these really comfy gray sweats, they're men's, so I bought them, um, I just bought small men's sweatpants and you know, I'm pretty happy about it. I might cut them into sweatshorts. Maybe. It's time to take my exam. This is my last exam slash assignment slash literally anything in this class um so i'm really excited to be done after this that'll be good and then i start normal classes on august 20th so i'll have a little bit of time between but we are gonna go to marketing i'm gonna peace out for a little bit take this exam all right you guys i just finished my exam i'm so happy i'm done with my marketing class forever <laughs> good stuff all right Whew. Oh my god! Is this a ginger shot? Oh yeah. Wait, will you take it with me? Aww. Thanks, Freddy. So my family has recently got into taking ginger shots. Um, ginger is great for your immune system, for your digestive system, for your gut. It's it's a powerful one though. All right, here we go. Wait, Fred, I need your support. This mm. thing, there's like cayenne pepper on top. We got it. But we're just staying healthy. Okay. Woo! Bottoms up. Ah! <laughs> ah! You guys, I don't even drink coffee anymore. I literally just... <sighs> this stuff just wakes you up, and then you just, I just keep it in my mouth. That's what Freddie told me. I don't chase it after... 
I'm actually gonna look up ginger shot benefits so I don't misinform you guys. Ginger shots are a popular wellness beverage that may provide health benefits. Ginger and other shot ingredients like lemon juice, there's also lemon juice in that, uh, may help reduce inflammation, soothe digestive issues, and enhance immune function. Ginger fights infection. We're here for that right now. Revs up your metabolism, helps your body recover faster post-workout. Did you hear that, Freddie? Little lunchy munchy. Lunchy. <laughs> it's like a liner situation, a little caprese salad. Really into these right now. Morning guys, I got out of bed before 10 a.m. this morning. <laughs> That's a success. I am doing this thing because on TikTok they always say to like drink like a huge thing of water before you even eat and usually I wake up and I just like run to the kitchen. But I wasn't starving when I woke up so I'm just like, I'm just drinking lots of water. Um, I'm listening to my relax and unwind playlist on Spotify. Um, it's on there, I got my rose going, good vibes this morning. Um, my voice is a little, a little raspy. I'm in the same sweats I was wearing yesterday, but a different shirt, a jacket. Um, I'm gonna go make some breakfast, and, and then I'm gonna go finish writing my paper right here. I just did my Doing Well Daily Journal as well. Kind of planned out my day, did some positive affirmations, stuff like that. Um, but the main priority today is to finish my paper. I'm actually wrong. I thought it was due tomorrow, but apparently it's due Thursday at midnight, and today's Tuesday, so I actually have a lot more time, but I mentally told myself I was gonna finish it today. Maybe almost finish it today. So we're gonna still do that because I kind of blocked out today to do that. And obviously I'm not complaining, I'm so thankful and I recognize my privilege to be able to even take summer classes and to go to University of Georgia. So I'm obviously so thankful. And I really do like the topic. It's just getting yourself, you know, to sit in front of the computer and do that is easier said than done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Not really sure what I want yet. We'll see. All right, today's breakfast is scrambled eggs. It's kind of all I've been doing lately. I haven't really been into toast as much. Decided I want to get moving a little bit and it's a little overcast, so it's not super hot out. I'm gonna go for a walk, actually. Um, it just sounds nice. I'm gonna listen to a podcast or something. A lot of you guys have sent me some that you recommend I listen to, so I'm gonna check those out now. Yeah, I'm wearing this new hat. I'll have the Instagram right here. This hat <laughs> makes me smile and I hope it makes you smile too. <laughs> I decided to run a little bit too and I'm already cramping how do you guys do this how do people run so I'm back from my walk slash run and then I also just did some like arm workouts and stuff I actually just posted a story on Instagram because I figured a lot of you guys either work at a store, a boutique, own your own fashion business. I thought it'd be really cool to interview some of you guys for my essay just to kind of see, you know, I basically like wrote down a list of questions. So were there any sourcing supply chain issues for the products? If the company has storefronts, any changes that had to be made, any new marketing techniques, challenges you've experienced, and then lastly, opportunities and good things that have come out of this experience. So I'm excited to honestly hear from you guys and it's just so crazy how much COVID-19 has affected and you know we're still not done with it and it's kind of crazy but i don't know it'll be cool to kind of hear from you guys mom just finished teaching her virtual yoga class and we are taking a little break i just took a shower we are going to the thrift store that we literally donate to probably once or twice a month oh, um, cause, more. yeah because they're finally accepting donations again yes. but only donates you can only donate on certain days and you can only shop on certain days i think yes they changed it they changed it so it's pretty cool um so yeah we are headed there now i went through my closet last week did a lot of organizing so i had some clothes to give away my mom has like random like knickknacks and stuff as well so it's just like an excuse to get out of the house really well uh, it's just and they love when we come there for sure yeah they're like oh it's them yeah we, we've <laughs> really been and all everything that they do there is for local um women and children's charity so the money goes straight into our community which is awesome yeah alrighty so <laughs> got the goods hey girl yeah. alright well, there's more back here got giving away some 
been back for a little bit now and I am just back to working on my paper. I'm starting to talk to a lot of you guys. Um, I'm talking to someone that works at Bergdorf's Forever 21, Windsor, um, Harper's Bazaar, L. This is just so cool and so interesting. Why is it so dark? So it's about 4 p.m. now and I'm just going to be doing this for the next few hours. Um, I've changed again. Yep, I changed a lot. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because I want to get this up for you guys. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your continued support. And yeah, I can't wait to be posting some more videos. Comment down below some videos you guys are wanting to see on my channel for sure. Um, I know back to school is kind of weird right now. Um, so I don't know. But if you guys want any certain back to school, back to college videos, definitely let me know. Um, even if you are going back and it's only online, like, let a girl know. Let's chat in the comments. And, yeah. I love you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for my next video. Bye-bye.